Come on. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you are new here, I am Jess and this is Kona. And today we are going to be planting a bunch of bulbs. If you have not already, get your butt in your car and go to Lowe's and Walmart and see if they have any bulbs left because their spring bulbs were a dollar per package, which meant I got some packages of 32 bulbs for a dollar of tulips, um, which is insane. I probably spent more money on the clearance items than I probably would have spent in general. Um, but if you are on a budget for your garden and you're wondering how you can have an amazing garden, definitely check out those clearances. Um, I have two methods for you today because today is November 2nd and the ground's pretty cold. And today we were just blessed with a really nice day. It's been a kind of mild winter, so I'm able to do this, right? But most of the time you're not blessed with that when actually these bulbs go on sale. So what I've done in the past is I've actually put my bags of bulbs in another darker colored fabric bag and then I put them in my fridge and I've left them there for several weeks and then you can plant them in containers you can plant them in the spring and they work great it's kind of like a fake freeze for them um, I wouldn't put them in the freezer because it gets a little bit too cold um, but that's great today I'm gonna to be trying to plant all of the bulbs I bought in my vegetable garden which sounds really kind of counterintuitive but the reason I'm doing this is because I actually don't know what my landscape looks like since we just moved here I have a little bit of an idea but I don't know what's planted around and I don't want to ruin what's already here and I don't want it to all look kind of like a mangled mess I mean flowers are flowers they're gonna look pretty regardless but um, I would really like to just kind of have an idea of what's out there before I go and kind of destroy everything. So I worked up my raised garden beds, which you saw in my last video. So I'm actually going to go and plant all my bulbs in those just because I want to get them in the ground this winter after they're done blooming, which will still be really pretty. And then maybe I'll be able to use them as cut flowers and stuff like that. Um, after they're done blooming, then I can go and rearrange them in my yard how I want. And then I'll have a better idea of what we actually have. Um, and this works because I don't plant anything in my vegetable garden until after these flowers will all be done blooming anyway. So let's go outside. I have a lot of work to do and I'm really excited. <coughs> all right, so this is my first tulip that I that caught my eye the most. This is kind of the blue color of my house. I thought these colors together would look really pretty. So I bought this one. There's 12 bulbs in here. And then I went to Lowe's and I actually found the same tulip, um, but they had more. So I bought a bunch of those. So I'm just gonna lay them out so you can all see kind of what I have. And then here's the other package. Um, the ones from Lowe's were actually a better deal because I got them all for a dollar too. They would have been more expensive for more plants, but um, since I got them all for a dollar, it was a better deal to go to Lowe's for this. So we actually have eight of these Queen of Night tulips. I'm really excited. I think they're a really pretty color. All right, so we have 129 of these Queen of Night tulips um, for $9. So not too shabby. I'm pretty excited. Um, all right, and they only had one of these, but I thought it was kind of pretty. They're alliums, um, white and like this dark maroon color um, flower. And then these are just some tulips. They don't really have a name on them, but they're kind of that double petaled. There's some light pink and there's some darker purple ones. I'm really a fan of the dark purple, but I really liked the double petals of these. And then I bought a lot of bags of like these little alliums, um, or not little alliums, little bags of alliums. Uh, so they're just the classic purple. I bought five of those, I think. And then the ones I was most excited about probably are these two big bags of white tulips. Um, there's 36 bulbs in each of these, so I'm really excited and I just love white flowers. So then we have our Lowe's box here. Um, these are white or ice folies. Um, they're daffodils. Uh, I bought two of those bags, but they kind of are more of a white flower and then have a little yellow on the center of them. And then 
that same color combo goes into this Ice King daffodil, um, but this one has more of that double petal uh, sort of feel to it. Um, and I only bought two of those as well. And then I bought just a bag of some unique different ones that I kind of thought were kind of cute. These ones I'm thinking will turn out a little bit more orange than yellow. And I think that'll look really pretty with the purple that I have in our um, other flowers. Uh, but these are kind of a double petal daffodil as well. And then, oh, another Queen of Night one. And then here's this color. Um, they call it Claudia, but I kind of liked the white tips of it, and they kind of look like they're going to be a smaller tulip. And then we bought these which I had never seen before, but they looked kind of pretty and they look kind of delicate and cute. So I wanted to try them. Um, I bought a ton of paper whites. I think we have four bags of those. I'm not going to be planting all of them out here. We'll be saving a few for Christmas this year. And then I have some white daffodils, which I think are really, really pretty. Um, I have four bags of those. So we have a lot of work to do. So out of curiosity, I just added up how many bulbs I have in total. Now, keep in mind, not all of these will be coming up, but I'll probably be planting them all. We have 395 bulbs. Um, and I got them all for a dollar. So I spent $32 on all of these bulbs for 395 bulbs. Now granted, they're all over in terms of what they actually are, but still, that's a really good deal. And if you're on a tight budget, like 400 bulbs is obviously too many bulbs, and I'm not gonna be planting up all of them, but um, if you're on a tight budget, you can really make it work if you have a nice weekend and are able to hit that clearance. All right, so for this first garden, I think I'm going to plant these orange daffodils, um, the frillitillarias, and the tulips, um, these Claudia tulips, just because they're all so different in bulb size that when I'm pulling them up, I'll be able to know what exactly was what. Um, and then the other beds, I'll be able to actually kind of um, have one type per bed.
Hey guys, so that is it. I know my camera battery died, but um, I mean, I'm just planting bulbs. It's not that exciting. Anyways, but you guys can kind of get an idea of what I did. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is if you haven't ever planted bulbs before, the teardrop sits like a teardrop would. So the larger side kind of goes on the bottom and the pointy side goes on the top. Otherwise, if it's round, look for little hairs. Those are usually the roots um, and put that facing down. Um, one thing I did that I didn't get to show you guys is all of these midnight or queen of the night tulips. I actually planted out in the front center garden. I have this little circle thing that I planted up all of the tulips, all like 10 bags of these queen of night tulips in. So hopefully next year that will look really cool. I did leave some of the perennial plants that were in it already just because I didn't want to lose them and I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. So I just planted the tulips around it. Um, next spring my plan is to kind of pull them all out after they bloom and re-landscape the whole thing. I just couldn't not get that deal of one dollar bulbs. Um, but yeah, I mean 400 bulbs pretty much for under $40 is pretty impressive in my book anyway. So I'm really happy you joined me. I'm excited for next spring to see how many come up and what they all look like. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because you don't want to miss what they look like. I'll also include a link down below to the garden tour video of our house. Um, and you guys can go check that out and see kind of what it looked like this fall. But thank you so much for joining me. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.